What is up guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. This video is gonna be a very different video. It's gonna be a discussion video. And this discussion is very random, but uh, I'm going to be discussing, uh, disgusting, discussing who should gain the rights to the dress. Oh my gosh. Today, I'm going to be discussing who should get the rights to the Godzilla King of Monsters, aka Godzilla 2, toy rights, if they are making any toys. I'm also going to be discussing what the toys should be like. There, I got it out. First, let's discuss the toy company that should get the rights. So for all of you that don't know, Legendary Pictures is the company that's making the Monsterverse. The Monsterverse is the whole the Godzilla franchise that's um, being remade. So, um, uh, Legendary, whatever you do, whatever you do, don't give it to Hasbro. This is one of the Hasbro Jurassic World toys. They got the rights to Jurassic back in 2015, or probably 2014, that's when they first got the rights, so then they had time to make these sculpts, but these toys, but look at the quality of this thing. So um, Hasbro would not be a good choice. I could go on and on and on about their quality control issues, their paint defect, their non-accurate sculpting, and the screw hole issue that's on almost all of their toys. Don't give it to Hasbro. I mean, I guess if they've maybe some of their toys occasionally, like maybe the Transformers. The Transformers are pretty good. The um, Their sculpting is pretty accurate. But still, Hasbro would be a very bad choice because of quality control. So leave Hasbro alone and leave it to some other company. I'm so sorry about my hair. It's, 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 um, it's in the morning. But another very good company that you could potentially give it to, I know all of you probably saw this coming, is Mattel. Now recently, Mattel just revealed their Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys at New York Toy Fair 2018. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. I'm going to be definitely picking up a couple of these. I mean, look at that Indoraptor. It's so accurate to the movie. Like, look at all the little scales and fine detailing. Look at that T-Rex. Absolutely brilliant. So I definitely think that Mattel would be a very nice choice, just because their quality is so good. I mean, if they can do that good with Fallen Kingdom, I think they definitely could do very well with Godzilla. So far, Mattel would be the best option. However, I would not want to give it to a company such as Bandai. Now I have a couple of their Godzilla 2014 figures. Godzilla 2004, um, the Godzilla King of the Monsters, this what the whole video is about, the toy line for this movie, is the sequel to this movie's toy line, uh, the Godzilla 2014. Now, these, this toy, it's um, okay. It's actually got very nice detailing. It's not exactly fine detailing, but it's, it's, it's good enough as far as detailing. But the action feature, it's kind of... Uh, Cheesy, if you ask me, and um, if you look at this side, tons and tons of screw holes, just like Hasbro's T Rex. The only, but at least this one's black, and it, the screw holes don't really show up as much. But they're still very noticeable. And also, Bandai doesn't really have very good articulation. Only four, five, six, seven. Um, no, one. Two, there's only four points of articulation. To me, this doesn't count because this is an action feature, not articulation. And uh, uh, so, and there's also no like jaw movement. So, as far as um, also, there's um, this little mini Godzilla that came with this um, this little Destruction City set right there. It's like little pieces of buildings you put together. That's pretty cool. Like so, you can smush the buildings with your little Godzilla, but. This one's even less articulated if you're counting this one's action feature. It's only got four points of articulation, and those joints, 
easily it easily pops off out of the joints so as far as I know Bandai would not be a good choice I'm gonna squeeze in one more company that could potentially do the toy line they could potentially do a good job before I discuss what the toys themselves should be like and that is Lanard toys how do you even pronounce that anyway is it Lanard Lanard I don't know now Lanard or Lanard toys they rec they made the Kong Skull Island toys about a year ago now and these are magnificently made toys and um, I also have I also have their helicopter I have the whole line hi Viva it's my dog I have the whole line and every single bit of it is magnificent the only thing about Lanard that I don't like is for their action figures and a lot of their accessories like guns, bazookas, etc. They it seems to always be either repaints or recasts of other other accessories that are the same sculpt. But other than that, Lanard would be a very very good choice. One of my um, favorite things about Lanard is they've always got great articulation on their figures. Like the core elite figures, these are not featured in my video, but they make like this GI, GI Joe spinoff sort of line, and those always boast great articulation. However, I wish say in the Kong Skull Island line, Kong, he had more, more articulation. He has um, good articulation, perfect articulation in the arms, but I wish he had hip and knee joints too. I also wish his mouth could open and close. That would be very magnificent. And I've also got the rest of the line. Yeah, I own the rest of the line. I have all the guns right here, all the human figures. I have the 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 mother long the daddy long legs thing. I forgot what it's called in the movie. It might mean mother long ugh. whatever. There's also the the boat, little shackle, monarch, uh, little expedition tent, a boat, a jeep sort of pterodactyl, a skull crawler, and then Kong, as well as the helicopter. So, they, as far as I know, I think Lanard would be a very nice choice. Now that I'm done discussing which toy company should get the line, now I'm going to discuss what the toys themselves should be like. Alright, now for the really fun part. So first of all, all the monsters that are going to be in Godzilla 2 is, obviously, Gazira, then Rodan, Mothra, the flying moth, and then King Ghidorah, the, the three-headed flying dragon. So if they were up to me on what the toys should be like, first, let's go over what Godzilla should be. So once again, if it were up to me, Godzilla would be a hand-operated puppet full length, full body length puppet. Hang on, I'll be right back. This is the Godzilla 1998 hand operated puppet. Now it's absolutely massive and I'm struggling to hold it to get into the frame. But yeah, it's a hand puppet. And um, it's really big, it's like three feet long and it's, um, on from the tip of the head to the arms it's like a real feel rep like reptile flesh sort of skin feeling like you're actually touching a real reptile and also here the tail is flexible so it can like you can like like crash on stuff and yeah it's a actually nicely detailed figure but it's really big and uh, if it were up to me, this is what the um, like the really big toy of the toy line would be like for Godzilla 2. It would be a giant Godzilla puppet that's designed to look like the Godzilla that's in the movie, which is this. So, yeah, and it'd have electronic sounds. So this one has electronic sounds, but it's old, so it's hard to hear. That's like a gun. Like a tank shooting, yeah, and then it was like a stomp, and then a roar. Super cool. 
So basically, for the largest Godzilla toy in the whole line, I would like it to be a very large hand-operated puppet about a minimum of two feet long and be made of like a silicone sort of rubber um, like material from head to tail, but still have plastic legs so it can stand right. And uh, the rubber would have to, rubber foam silicone sort of material would have to be very flexible so you can make very lifelike movements. And if you can squeeze in, add a little bit of el uh, ugh, add electronic sound. Another cool toy that could be Godzilla, like maybe a less ex like a less expensive one if your pa if parents can't afford the two or three foot long uh, rubber Godzilla puppets, then maybe you can make some kind of like very highly articulated jumbo Godzilla figure that's a smaller, a little bit smaller than your Godzilla puppet, but um, it'd still be fairly large, but it'd have very, like, um, like this um, NECA Godzilla 1954, this is what the original Godzilla looked like, have very wide range of movement and no sound, so it's affordable, have a jaw movement, a head, neck, arms, have plenty of joints in the arms, have a, like a, uh, like a waist movement so it can like thrash around or something and have a fully articulated tail like like each little crack would be articulated and have uh, also obviously articulated legs and feet so that would be the last Godzilla of the line there'd be two nicely sized Godzilla toys the next toy in the line would be Rodan so if it were up to me, all of these, these are not official toys. These are just like little concepts that I made myself. So the Rodan toy would be something like this Jurassic World Tyranodon figure where like, but it has like a wing flapping thing since it's a flying monster, it would have a wing flapping action. And uh, it you could like, there, but only it wouldn't be activated by these legs. It's because it, it's very cheesy. This is another Hasbro Jurassic World toy, very cheesy toy, but it's still not that bad. And um, so there'd be a button right here, and uh, you'd press it, and the wings would flap, kind of like the very very old Jurassic Park Kenner Dimetro um, no a uh, Pteranodon. Hang on, I'll show you a picture. So this is the 1993 Jurassic Park, um, I keep on saying Dimetrodon, Pteranodon toy. Now it's got the same feature as Rodan would have, and Rodan has a very similar design to it. It's like a, like a pterosaur looking sort of thing, and uh, yeah, so uh, it'd have the same feature as this one. So you can see there's a button on its back, you press it and the wings flap. Also, the, the Rodan would be much larger than this little thing, and uh, it'd be made of, like, rubber, so it'd be, like, real feel, uh, once again, uh, uh, like, real feel, like you're actually touching a flying reptile or something, and also, it'd have the same, somewhat same features, this one, too, like, combined with the button making the wings flap, if you squeeze the legs together, it, its mouth would, like, close and chomp, and it would make a sound. Well, this is the design of Rodan. Once again, it's very similar to a pterodactyl. Imagine this as a toy with that feature, and it'd be rubber feeling, so it'd feel like you're actually touching a reptile, and it'd have a button on its back you press, and its wings flap, and if you squeeze its legs together, its mouth will open, and it will roar. <laughs> That's what Rodan would be. The next toy in the line would be Mothra. So Mothra would be kind of similar to Rodan, it's because they have a very similar body bo body design, but some, maybe some of the shape is different and they're completely different types of animals. Rodan is a giant flying, it looks like a flying dinosaur. Yes, I know pterosaurs are not dinosaurs, but um, Mothra, she's like a, basically a giant moth and with very vibrant colors but I'm sure they probably would change that in Godzilla too so it wouldn't be so cheesy so my toy for Mothra would probably be um, very similar to the Rodan toy only it would be a, another hand puppet so it'd be easier to control so you there'd be a hole you could put your hand up uh, 
and there'd be a rod in there. So if you pulled the lever on the rod, the wings would flap. And while they flapped, it'd be like a like the sound of like a windy, like wind made by the wings flapping. So like And then there'd be a button you could press and her her big butterfly eyes would light up, like light up blue or something. And her beak would also open and it'd make a noise, whatever her noise is gonna sound like. Maybe like this. So Mothra, I'm trying to get a good idea of how big she is compared to Godzilla in like the old movies. So she's a little bit bigger than Godzilla himself. So she'd probably be um, probably about the same size as the, like, the Godzilla puppet and the articulated Godzilla, which we discussed earlier. So, yeah. My final monster toy idea for the whole line, these are all the monsters, I might get into, like, humans and accessories later, but my final idea for the monsters themselves is the Ultimate King Ghidorah. I think this would be absolutely brilliant if they did it this way. So... Since Ghidorah is more upright and, he, like, he still flies, but when he walks, he walks very similar to Godzilla, so he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. so, um, uh, it would be, uh, about the same size as Godzilla, if not a little bit bigger, and it would be made of the fleshy rubber feel material, so it'd feel like you're actually touching a dragon, and the, 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 one, when, when it transfers from the rubbery body, the neck itself and then the head would be all plastic so it would allow articulation and there'd be a lever on the bottom of the tail like if this is where the tail starts the lever would probably be right here there'd be three of them so if, since he has three heads uh it would uh one lever would activate a head and it'd be like Rah. and it'd make maybe three different types of noise for each head i this is so far fetched but this is my idea so let me finish before you uh, go crazy in the comment section. So, anyways, you press one of the levers and it activate a sound. And if you press it hard enough, it'd chomp. And so it'd be like, rap, rap, for each neck, for, for each head. And also, if you're not using the action feature, it would be extra articulated. There'd be like three different joints on the neck, so it would, it would, um articulate very nicely and the if you open the jaw it'd stay open so it'd be like a very nice uh like pose like display figure act figurine and also it have the same feature that if you um you like press a really big button on the back the wings would flap and it'd make a noise and also this is kind of cartoony but if they wanted to the eyes would light up when the sound is activated but I would actually not recommend that that'd be very cheesy but that would be the last monster toy in the whole um, line so next we're gonna go to like humans and cars and uh, like helicopters and fighter jets whatever vehicles and humans are in guns that are gonna be in the movie say hi say hi Fresca Hi. That's my dog. Here we go, humans. So I'd like a three, ow! Fresco. Stay still. I'd like a, I'd like a, a 3.5, what is wrong with you, you lizard? Stay still, stay still. Okay, I'd like 3.5 inch scale and have plenty, plentiful articulation. So like a nice elbow joint that can bend out, can swivel. I'd also like an elbow joint that can, you know, move around, maybe a wrist joint, like a, it's on a ball joint so it can move. And also, I'm putting you Anyways, up. I'd like the all of the articulation in total to be a head, it can move up and down, side to side. You can swivel out, and you can swing them forward, so you can like do a punch, and also have an, an elbow joint that can uh, tilt forward and swivel, and have a wrist joint that's not on here, but it'd be a wrist joint that's can, like, uh, it's a ball joint, so it could move around. Sorry, that if you heard a weird sound, that was my dad burping in the background, but um, 
Also have a, a hip joint, nice and tight joint. Have a, a, a leg joint right here, a knee joint, and also a foot joint so it can like swivel forward or something for extra articulation as well as a waist movement. So, um, and also make them look exactly like their characters in the movie. So like say, Aaron T Taylor Johnson. He was the um, the star in Godzilla, the original Godzilla, the the uh, like before the movie that this these toys are about. He was the star in the in the original Godzilla movie. So if they were to like make a like a figure of him, make it look just like him, and <clears throat> yeah. So that's how I would do the action figures. Next, let's go on to the vehicles. I'd like a nice large scale vehicle that's in scale with the um with the humans like this storm strike helicopter from kong skull island that i showed you earlier somebody apparently is going to hollywood on american idol <laughs> uh it's because the, the tv's on downstairs but um yeah and also this doesn't have a feature that i'm about to say but uh i'd like the vehicles to have a feature where um there's a gun you press and then it like it shoots out a projectile a, like bullet you could shoot at the monsters that would be really nice and also maybe if there's any like cars if you get a car or something that's authentic to the movie and everything same thing with the with the flying vehicles would be in the movie I'm sure there's gonna be a, at least one fighter jet or one helicopter so yeah um, this is a Kong Skull Island Jeep and it's uh there wasn't a jeep in the movie but this is really accurate to the movie so also have a jeep for the godzilla 2 toy line that'd be pretty cool and that's wait a minute i forgot something <laughs> also have movie accurate weaponry so also i don't have a toy tank but make you, you like if there's gonna be a tank or a couple of tanks in the movie make a toy version of a tank that'd be pretty cool and be able to shoot something out of its out of the gun hole thing i don't know what it's called but <laughs> also have some guns that your figures can come with everything movie accurate including the monster toys and all that stuff so that was my list on what the godzilla 2 toys should be like I'm actually very surprised that you're still here watching it right now. It's because this video is 22 minutes long. It, it's like, wait. Yeah, I've been shooting this ever since the morning, and it's now 6 in the afternoon. So, yeah, this is a very, very long video. If you are, in, if, if you are interested in my channel and my content, I would really suggest you share and subscribe. And that would really help me make bigger and better videos. I cannot believe that I shot the longest video on my channel. This is 23 minutes long. So, yeah, it's a very long video. So, anyways, share, subscribe. I'll see you later.